Hobsbawm, I think the most sagacious living Marxist scholar says, the first conclusion which unfortunately needs restating, in spite of being obvious, is that unity is strength. Without it, the right cannot be defeated. A divided left, and especially a divided socialist left, will not advance. It is far more likely to tear itself apart to the benefit of the right. Now, I believe that Hobsbawm is correct, and I believe that it is an impediment, and you are going to listen to my reasons why, because that is why Chris Mullin was good enough to invite me to come on this platform tonight. <laughs> the illusion of the early 80s, said Hobsbawm, is that organization can replace politics. The disciplined approach of politics can replace politics itself. It can't, it won't, because it produces hit lists. And let me give you a warning about hit lists. Anybody of, anybody of left or right, well, you see, I've got this almost unique good fortune. I was on just about everybody's hit list and I got elected. It says here, hit list, answer Neil Kinnock. <laughs> Well, Neil and everybody, some of us have been on hit lists all his lives. <laughs> You're always on somebody's. <laughs> Apart from them that ride up the middle of the road all the time, I don't know, I suppose this Mr. Hobbsbones one. Is that his name? <laughs> Is he on? <laughs> hey? I mean, when I think about him, and I've not read article, but I don't need to know what to do. I'm not just earnest, Neil. Cold and calculating. Not for any short term advantage. Oh no. Oh, I know the road ahead. And it's right down that left wing, and you mustn't bear at all. <laughs> You've got to expect them. You've got to be able to answer the problems when they're thrown at you. Be big enough, don't worry about them. God almighty, fancy an MP being worried about being on the hit list. 14,000 quid a year, and on a hit list, it, it's not possible, is it? No, of course it isn't. All party trips abroad, there's one for every country in the world, I've got them all here, I haven't got time to go through them. Bahamas in the winter, always between the winter, always, always between those... Uh, in the equatorial zone between the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. <laughs> they always travel there. They never go on a fact-finding mission to Greenland in the winter, <laughs> and they must be facts to find. <laughs> Conflict continues. And so we don't run away from it. We understand it. And I understand it as well as any, because I saw it in its harshest terms when I was down the pit in Derbyshire. And when I'm worried about somebody stabbing me in the back in those plush corridors of the House of Commons, I think about those three-foot seams, the hacking away, the injuries, the mauling, the class conflict that should sustain us all when we get down there. We're lucky to be able to have that opportunity to be on some tin pot parliamentary hit list. <laughs>